I, as a native Korean, finally, I am putting my skill set to some use to dig deep into Jogyu song and then finding all the old pictures, all the hot videos. You're welcome, guys. Many of my videos, I roast Korea boos. Today, I'm on your team. I am a Korea boo. I haven't had a celebrity crush in like so long. So I was like, Korea boos. Eh, cringe! Now I am cringe. We are on the same team. This is a safe space for us to thirst over Cho Gyu Sung. Cho Gyu Sung, quick introduction. He is a Korean soccer player. And as I have told you, I haven't had a crush for so long on anyone. But he, it's different because he and I, we have a story, we have a history. Is this how old Korea boos feel? Now I can relate to Korea boos on a different level. I shouldn't roast them. Korea for the World Cup 2022 Qatar. Korea was against Ghana and I think in the first half, we were already losing by 2-0. If you guys have watched me for a long time, you guys know that I'm Korean living in Korea. I never felt really nationalistic. I'm like multicultural. I haven't just lived in Korea. I'm not gonna be like my dad or my uncles where they watch like so invested and they're like, oh, nationality. Our country must win and then if they win, it's like their pride goes up. I don't know. That's how nationalism works apparently. I'm like whoever wins, it's a global world. I support both teams. I'm better than my nationalistic father. Start watching. In the first half, we're losing by 2.0. My dad is like devastated. And you know what? The funny thing is I thought I wouldn't be that invested or sad, but I was also getting sort of sad too. These Korean soccer players, they look like me. I'm Korean, they're Korean, like sort of feel like family. This is like the mindset that I sort of detested about like Korean boomers because they take it too far. World Cup and the Olympics, those things are scary. It makes people like, like, why are we losing? Like it's we now, I'm Korean. Like why are we losing against Ghana? Like nothing against Ghana, but I want us to win. By the way, I cannot put any of the actual be playing because mm -hmm. FIFA is a little bitch and any clip this video would be flagged down. Choke is hung. My Boyfriend, as you guys know, put um, a fucking amazing goal. I'm so mad that I can't show you guys. Okay, let's just look at his hot face. This pretty boy put on a first goal, and I was like, ah, it's like hope. It's like one to two now. Almost the game is over, and we're like, mm, whatever. And he fucking put another goal in. Like, even before he put the goal in, whatever he was on camera, people, Korean people at that point, only Korean people were like, oh, who's he? He's cute. He was already at that stage getting some recognition by his looks. But from those two goals, at that point, I was like, yo, this dude's career is set. I knew at that point, every Korean girl was searching him up. Every international girl was searching him up. I was getting DMs from my Danish girlfriend. She's like, yo, who is this guy? We all think the same. <laughs> it doesn't matter what nationality, hot guys are hot guys. And then I was trying to press follow on his Instagram and it was glitching. He had like, I don't know, 30,000 followers before. And now like, how many followers does he have now? Three. So it was glitching because so many girls were like pressing follow at once. I was like, okay, this guy is set for life. You know, like the Squid Game girl, him. Okay, now he's like, he has a Nike sponsorship. He had the Nike sponsorship before as well, but he better have gotten a new contract with 10x the money. Like, he better. He has a special place in my heart. He reconnected me to my Korean identity. Let's just enjoy. I've noticed that he does this this like a lot. It's his thing. I like it, you know? I have a video where he does the same thing. Okay, wait here. This is his soccer team. You guys probably don't dig this deep, but I do because I speak Korean. Okay, so the, oh my god. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? <laughs> He's in Hanok, which is like the traditional Korean house because his team is in top. Okay, who cares? Who cares? He, let's just watch. Where's the sound? Where's the sound? This is like our traditional, um, who cares? He's wearing it. He's promoting it. Korea's ambassador. Ah! Watch again, watch again, watch again. 안녕하세요. Why is he so cool? On my cheek, please. He's so cool because he's awkward because he's not a celebrity, right? So he's sort of awkward and shy, but he's so still hot. Yo, recently I posted this shorts because I showed my mom about my new boyfriend and then she was saying things like, he looks common. I mean, rewatch that shorts. Every time I watch that shorts, I get triggered. So I don't know why I keep watching it. I want to cancel my mom for saying that. How dare she? <laughs> she's literally spitting BS because she's like, oh, just go on the subway. She literally hasn't ridden the subway in 20 fucking years. If 
you guys watch my shorts, you guys know she's a fucking rich lady. She doesn't get like she literally says things like, Oh my god, people who ride the subway are plebs, and I'm like, I'm this rich Gangnam lady, and she is a rich Gangnam lady, so she doesn't even know what she's talking about. What do you mean? Like, oh just go on the subway and like you find a hundred guys like this, you haven't ridden the subway. Her daily routine is oh she wake up and then she takes a little brunch and then she feed her little cat. She and then she just goes to this her favorite dermatologist, and then they discuss about this tiny eye wrinkle that she has for one hour because they have nothing better to do and then they do some laser she doesn't know i know because i'm the one that fucking gets up every day and then interact with the korean world no no guy looks like this my grammar is deteriorating because i'm so mad at her Woo! let's look at this photo shoot he did with l korea Look at this. Wow, I love the jewelry they put on him. This really sort of thick choker thingy, and then this bracelet that sort of looks like handcuffs. And his rings. He's so cute. And then I love this little mole under his eye. Oh my god. Sorry for taking a break from introducing my hot boyfriend, but are you guys interested in sexy audio stories to turn you on during me time? I have a 30-day free trial for you at dipsystories.com slash Kelsey. Now, Dipsy is a tasteful app full of sexy audio stories for women. In my other videos, I do recommend that women should watch porn as well to enlighten their senses. But as we all know, women are more turned on by audio and imagination. I've always wanted to see the sunset from here. I've only ever come in the morning. How about we stay? I can't believe that I didn't know it existed. And in this app, there's an accent option. I think we all did. There are so many stories to choose from. There are so many accents. And my favorite part was that you can actually hear male voices moaning. And let's be honest, ladies, that's what you really want from a guy. Audio quality is top notch. I can guarantee that. Even better than this audio. On the days where I don't feel like a sexy story, there is a sexual wellness section too, where you can discover and test out your preferences. Breathwork series. I really appreciate it because as you guys know i love yoga and meditation free trial for 30 days just go check it out you will not regret it the link will be below dipsystories.com slash kelsey that is d-i-p-s-e-a stories.com slash kelsey i like how they dress him in like korean stuff is he the new bts i don't know but i feel like people are interested in korea through him you know the art around here it's also very korean style to most people it just looks like asian style but chinese asian stuff korean asian stuff japanese asian stuff is all very different but this is like distinctive korean tradition okay i know you guys don't care i like how they market him and represent oh my god i want to be that chopstick chopstick what do you call this chupa chups i i oh that bracelet is Cartier, right? My mom literally has that bracelet. My mom who doesn't ride the subway and therefore not allowed to say anything about Korean men, she has that bracelet. Is it, it's Tiffany & Co. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the T one is a Tiffany & Co. And then the Cartier one, who cares? You know what? My mom's gonna, probably gonna watch me and be like, <laughs> you can't differentiate Cartier and Tiffany's are such a pleb. <laughs> literally! Like the other day, she was like, she was calling me a pleb for not owning any kind of nice watch. But then she bought me a Rolex, so can't complain, but she's also a bitch. The way he looks at you. Ah! Let's look at the comments. And this man was saying he doesn't consider himself handsome. Oh, he's humble as well. He's not some kind of F-boy. He's like, yeah, I know I'm hot. Wow. I'm realizing I'm writing a whole chronicle around him, although I do not know him. Like his interview, like I bullshit in interviews. I bullshit in my little like videos. Like the fact that he said that he doesn't consider himself handsome doesn't mean anything, but that I'm like narrating a whole story, meaning like how his personality is perfect for me. I will never roast Korea booze again. Wish I was the lollipop for real, girl. See, girls all over the world, they think the same. Like this one, I like it, but I don't see his face that well. But, but look at that handcuff vibes. Is this sexual harassing? Am I crossing the line? Look at that shoulder muscle and then the bicep. <laughs> He's so cute! You know what I want? I want a body pillow with his face on it. I know that's creepy. Look at that smile. So in Korea, when you become a big celebrity, you do a cosmetics. Even guys, when you are doing cosmetics ad as a guy, it means you've made it. I don't know, in this picture, he sort of looks like the soft boy aesthetic with like a fluffy sweater. And then this, what's this? Ginger shampoo. It's like, wow, does the shampoo come with him? Like, I want this. He looks like a giant puppy. It's so cute. But then in this picture, mm, the way he's looking at you, I don't know how to explain what do you know what I mean, right? You're a girl, you you're feeling what I'm feeling. We agree. I feel like this one's photoshopped a little bit. His jawline is not that pretty. Why do they have to make it like a girl's jawline? I don't know, maybe it's because he's laying down. This one though. 
Why, why, why you do this to me? It's so creepy to zoom in on his body. I know. Ah! Okay, I didn't even realize that he was wearing a Louis Vuitton shirt. I want to smell his armpits. I feel like it's gonna smell really sexy. This is some weird pseudoscience shit, but all the guys that I've dated, when I smell their armpits, Sometimes it's like unintentional, I end up smelling it. Sometimes it's intentional, like after working out together. I'm just like, some scents I really like, even though it's sweaty, I really like the stinky scent. And then like some scent, it's like, oh, I really don't like. And then the guys that I end up dating, it's always the guys with the scent that I like. Ancient cave woman brain telling me like the compatibility of our genes through how I like his scent or something. So this, I'm just like, I want to smell your armpits. Girls, I recommend you smell the armpit of your boyfriend. And if it doesn't smell good, you guys are not genetically compatible. In some pictures, it looks like his jawline is really skinny. And then in some pictures, he's like, mm, defined jawline. I get it though. I'm also like that. It's like the Asian face uh, characteristic. But with Asian faces, you can look so different. Like, I look so ugly in a lot of my videos and pictures. And in some, I'm like, mm. She looks tight, you know, so I feel like he's also that kind of face because I'm saying this because in my shorts people some people agree with my mom Some people are like, yeah, he's not as good looking as everyone is making out making him out to be uh, But some pictures look better than others You're a hater the middle finger is at the top not not the index finger the way he does it is like middle finger at the top so cute this interview he did with his soccer team, it's gonna be in Korean, so some good moments I'll translate for you guys. That's how you say hi, by the way. By the way, the way you pronounce his name properly is not Cho Gue Sung, that's how it's spelled out, but it's Cho Gyu Sung. Cho Gyu Sung. Oh, he's so cute when he laughs. His teeth is like a bit crooked, so it's like so cute. I'm down so bad, everything is cute. My dream is to be so big one day because he's appearing on some Korean YouTube channels but they have, they have like 1 million subscribers and stuff like that. My dream is that I have 1 million subscribers one day so he can be on my channel. Go and smash that subscribe button. So before every game, he meditates. I like that. I meditate before every video, believe it or not, even to make these shitty YouTube videos. It takes a lot of mental, mental like preparation. And for him, he's like a national football player, so. His blood type is O. It's like you have your Via Libra horoscope. What do you call that? We have our blood type. So you guys believe in like the horoscope compatibility of each other. But in Korea and also Japan, we ask each other like the blood type. So you have like four blood types. Like most of my white friends don't even know their blood type because they don't care. It's like me not knowing my star sign. He's a blood type O. I'm also a blood type O. And in Korea, blood type O is just like perfect match. So he's a perfect match. How old is he by the way? He's born in 1998. Same as me. Ah! <gasps> He's 189 centimeters, bro. That's crazy. That's very rare. The tallest boyfriend I had was like around his height. That's very rare. The average height of Korean guys is my height. Not roasting them. It's true. I'm 171. That's the average height of Korean men. When you just look at the average height of Korean men in their 20s and 30s, it goes up to like 173. But still, 189. Like, bro. Yeah, but you can really tell that he's tall from like his bone structure. I have a little tip for you guys. Oh, how do I know if my Tinder date is gonna be tall or not? You can sort of tell because if he's not telling how tall he is in the bio and if you feel awkward to ask him for some reason, I have a really good height dar, height plus radar by now. Or you can just tell by how long his shoulder bones are. I feel like you can, can tell how tall I am as a girl because even though I'm sitting down, I'm not like tiny. Like the girls that are the average Korean height, like the really, really small girls, they're like, it's just really small. I don't know how to explain, but he's like, you can tell he, mm. So when he's next to me, he's gonna be like, good balance. <laughs> Not that I discriminate. I date guys that are like similar to my height, partly because I don't have any options because I'm in Korea. <laughs> but it is nice when the guy is like, because I'm 171, he's 20 centimeters taller than me. That's really rare. Oh, they're guessing like, he's so good at guessing, wow. <laughs> but they don't know BTS. <laughs> They know like the soccer players like in two seconds. This is such a creepy shot. They're not even asking him anything. Have that song and they're just like zooming in. Sort of creepy. <laughs> Why are they getting uncomfortably close to his mouth? They're like... 
this music is so cringe at the background. I don't know what the purpose of this short is. This is also Chogyu's song. Look at his thigh muscles when he does the kick. And the fact that he's like 190 centimeters. It's funny that people don't click on this video because they don't know it's Chogyu's song. Unless you speak Korean, you can read his shirt name. But in this one, they can see that it's Chogyu song. So it, this one has like 100,000 views, 100,000 views. This one has like 30,000 views. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave a comment. <laughs> yeah, he's talking about how his eye is not even and I'm sure you've noticed it too. That's what makes him sexy. My eye is also uneven. That's it. <laughs> he just says, yeah, my eye is not even. Okay, well that was my three seconds very well spent. No regrets. Wait, on L, on top of him, is that BTS? Yeah, that is BTS. BTS has 20,000 likes. Chogyu Song has 100,000 likes. Wow, is Chogyu Song the new BTS? So in Korea, it's like a trend to write a whole poem for him, but a poem that rhymes. So this girl here, is Chogyu Song a warm tone or a cool tone? Like his skin tone. I drool for him it's a ton. So that's a rhyme. <laughs> My love for him is like a marathon. <laughs> ton 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 in English, but it's all ton 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 in Korean. So it's like they're writing a little haiku for him. <laughs> and then this girl wrote a literal Bible. Chogyu song, my love. Chogyu song, my life. My pain. My sanctuary. Wow. My suffering. My sin. This is deep. I want some like uh, English comments. He's so adorable, I can't. My favorite brand collab. Oh, everyone is like, I'm gonna buy the body shop. I'm more of a lush girl. Will you let me pick the stars from the canvas of your face? I'll treasure them in my heart. These people. <laughs> some people are writing poems with like Chinese characters. That's a lot of effort. I'm gonna leave my own poem for him. Are you guys ready? <laughs> this is him on his Instagram with the caption wave emoji. I wonder who took this picture of him. Better not have been a girl. <laughs> Damn, he's tan in this picture. Ooh, look at these veins. If there are any guys watching this, girls really like the veins. I am not a fan of his style. It's a little basic, but you know, a guy cannot be perfect. This lighting is so bad. Hire me as a short producer for Chuki Song. I'll work for free. Look at those thighs. Oh my god, I feel such a perv. You guys are with me on this, right? I'm not the only perv here. He's like so slender and fit. Like, and then when he does this with his arms, you can actually see his muscles pop. But like when he's just like, it's like peak male performance. Stamina, endurance, promoting Hyundai. Tesla, <laughs> move out the way. I can't believe my mom said that his face is common. She literally doesn't know any Korean people in their 20s. I have so many friends in their 20s and I'm not roasting them, but nobody looks like him. But you know what my mom's really good for? Whenever I'm like deeply down in a guy, like a real guy that I'm dating, and I have like super tunnel vision and I give him more credit than he deserves and I'm like, uh, I wanna do anything for him, that kind of thing. You know what the cure for that is? I show him to my mom <laughs> and then my mom will literally be like, he's not that cute because blah, 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 blah. I'm like, what the fuck? But then it helps me get out of my tunnel vision so I'm like less simping for him. It actually helps sometimes. Sometimes it goes overboard and then I fight with her. That's why I don't live with her. It's like a little amount of toxicness that is healthy, but not too much. It's like a caffeine, like maybe one cup a day, but like never more. I was very close to saying I will never roast Korea booze again, but I think I will. But if you like Chogyu Sang, you get a pass. You're not a Korea boo. You're just um, legit. Of course you would like Chogyu Sang. Why wouldn't you? Watch this video of my mom rating Korean and foreigner guys. She's very candid. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.